the floors, two ounces per gallon of cold water. You put it in or use just cold water. If you don't have phenomenal, use cold water because what you really don't want is stripper left on the floor because once you put the wax on, yeah. the wax hits any part of the stripper, and then what does it do? It separates. starts separates yeah. fish eyes. We've all run into that. And the reason why your wax fish eyes or separates is because we didn't neutralize the floor. So I said for the pennies, that phenomenal cost, just put a cup of phenomenal in your cold water and it just neutralizes everything on your floor just like it neutralizes the ice melt. Neutralize or they blend in with everything else? <clears throat> it neutralizes, like if, if there's bare bones left on the floor, it actually neutralizes it so it doesn't have any activity okay. to eat the new finish. Right, right. So there will be no reaction once you apply the finish because... Right, because you, you, you brought everything back, you brought the floor back to Two seven, eight, neutral. Seven. Two neutral. But if you, if you leave bare bones, like this gentleman said, most of us cold rinse the floor, which is good. That's right. Yep. And I tell people sometimes you have to cold rinse the floor twice because you just spent X amount of hours stripping that floor, you don't want it to separate. So phenomenal, like I said, two ounces per gallon of water in the mop bucket neutralizes everything. Yeah. So when it goes on the floor and I'm mopping phenomenal on the floor, the floor is neutralized. Uh, oh, okay. All right, so let's get a, um, let's get some bare bones. <clears throat> I like the